great to be here with you today. I have some interesting records to share with you. We are going to take a look and a listen to uh, Circus at the Opera, a children's record from the late 50s, early 19, or late 40s, early 1950s. But before we do that, <clears throat> I want to show you a couple of interesting things that I got uh, picked up the other day at uh, Records Take Scalore here in Saginaw, Michigan, where I always find awesome and unique things. Now, I picked up this 1981 1981? Yeah, I believe it's 1981. Anyways, <clears throat> Superman 2 soundtrack. Uh, in and of itself, it is pretty much your typical uh, soundtrack fare. But this is, uh, this one, the disc is uh, laser etched with the Superman logo. Now, I don't know if you can see that on there. I hope you can. It's etched on the black vinyl five times the Superman logo from, you know, from his uh, chest on both sides. And it is like in mint condition. So I thought that was a really cool record. So I picked that one up to add to my uh, collection. Um, probably never to play it because I just like it as it is. <clears throat> Additionally, this is a promo, promo, promotional copy uh, that was, uh, this one actually went to WSAM Radio here in Saginaw, Michigan. And I believe the DJ that it came from was Rick St. James. So that was a really cool one. I was happy to get. Now, the next one is a picture disc. And this is Paul Parrish. And it, the name of the album is Song for a Young Girl. It is undated on the uh, jacket. But I, I thought the artwork was really cool on it. And again, I hope that you're able to see that okay. My lighting is a little bit off in here, I suspect, today. But a really nice picture disc record, mint condition, looks as though it's never ever been played. Um, so I added that one. But my favorite one that I added, out of all of them that I added this past week, is for my Elton John collection that I've told you is that I'm trying to rebuild. So this one is titled 1979 Live from Moscow, Elton John and Ray Cooper. This is a double. A double record. Now, this particular copy was released in 2019, Mercury Records and BBC. And I had this back in the day on a laser disc. My friend up in Oscoda, Mark Smutek, him and I worked at the same place, and we had both had an interest in um, audio recording and technology. And he had purchased a laser disc player. And so I bought the, the laser disc of the of the Moscow concert, and so I could see it, and uh, ended up letting him keep it because I didn't have anything to play it on. But then when I saw this one, uh, the, you know, just audio, um, I was quick to see if my friend Bill, friends Bill and Judy could order it for me, and they did. And it's a beautiful set, heavy, heavy vinyl, just and rich, wonderful sound on it, just. Absolutely awesome, with a wonderful selection of music. Um, uh, Daniel, Skyline Pigeon, Take Me to the Pilot, Rocket Man, uh, Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, Candle in the Wind Heard Through the Grapevine, which is one he did often in concert. Funeral for a Friend, which is typically tied with Love Lies Bleeding, uh, but for this release, or for this concert, it was tied with Tonight from the Blue Moves album. And then there's Better Off Dead, Benny and the Jets, my one of my ultimate all-time favorite Elton John songs. Sorry seems to be the hardest word. Crazy Water, Saturday Night's Alright for Fighting, Pinball Wizard, Crocodile Rock, Get Back and Back in the USSR. So I was delighted to add that one to my to my expanding collection. Now, on to Circus at the Opera. A musical dream. And the story is by Delmar Molarski. And it's for ages 5 to 8. But I'm sure my audience will enjoy it. I know that I did. It's very, it's a, it's a cute, fun record. The music is by Carter Harmon. Now, this was released by the Chil Children's Record Guild, and uh, it is undated, but it is from the late 40s, early 1950s. Now, I will read you the uh, 
notation on the back, and then we'll take a listen to the record, okay? It says, what parents should know about this record. At night, a night at the opera, after a day at the circus proves too much for one small boy, and he falls asleep in his opera chair, as older opera goers have been known to do also. Uh, <laughs> I can understand that. In his dream, the singers in Carmen become circus performers under the big top, and the lion roars like a, like a toreador, clowns laugh in operatic ha-has, the elephant sings nasally through his trunk, and the boy finds himself right in the toothless lion's cage, appeals for help to the clown and the elephant, and finally is freed by the circus strongman, able and willing to bend iron bars apart for the boy. Fatima, the fat lady, my ex-wife, no, I'm sorry, <laughs> that was cruel, I apologize for that, <laughs> is his next friend. As she, the high point is reached literally and vocally when he is shot from a cannon, <laughs> like the human cannonball, to find himself on the um, high trapeze. Parents and children together and separately will delight in this imaginative blend of fun, entertainment, and music. I know we should have brought uh, you an opera, opera record out uh, someday. So he went on to the circus and his father, but uh, with his father, but no listener will agree for the result is highly original and amusing record. So let's take a listen to this. Hope you'll enjoy it. Uh, one other thing I want to point out: the graphics always on these uh, on these children's records from that era are colorful, um, so typical of that era and time, and are just almost as fun to look at as the record is to listen to. So let's take a listen. I hope you'll enjoy it. I won't be back this time after the after the uh, music, but please remember, you're always loved here at the Dennis Morrison Channel and at Charlie Cat Productions. God bless you richly, and we love you much. See you soon. Here comes Mr. Elephant. 
Maybe you will help me. Please, Mr. Elephant, get me out of here. I trot you so long when I sing a song. I cannot help sounding like this. So I'd rather not try. I'll just pass you by. It's something I'm sure you won't miss. But, Mr. Elephant, I don't care how you sing. You'd better get out. Son, how did you like the opera? 